Hello and welcome to the Independent Reserve Sign Up Tutorial, brought to you by Cryptocurrency Enterprises. The first step is to create your account. Click the link below in the comments section to go to the Independent Reserve website. If you heard about Independent Reserve from a friend, please use their referral link when signing up. Now that you're on the Independent Reserve homepage, go to the top right hand corner and click Create Account. Next, enter your username, create a password, repeat that password, enter the referral code, and then click create account. Congratulations, you now have a registered account with Independent Reserve. Before trading however, there are a number of things you will need to do to help protect yourself, as well as legal obligations Independent Reserve are required to follow. Everything Independent Reserve requires is set out via the settings screen. Log into your account now. Now that you've logged into your account, you'll be on the settings page. Take the time now to set up your account summary your identity details and your email settings. You can also change your password here. Here is also where you set up your two-factor authentication. Also at the top here you have the API keys referral program where you'll get your referral link to pass on to your friends and your logon history. Now that you're on the identity verification page, fill out the details on the left hand side verification documents. Please upload a clear photo of yourself holding a government issued photo ID such as a passport or driver's license. Both the document and yourself must be clearly visible. Please also upload at least one supporting document which shows your current address such as a bank statement or utility bill. Once you're done, click Verify Identity. To get back to your home screen, click the wings up the top left hand side of your screen. Now that you're back on the home screen, you can see you've got News, OTC, Market, Trade, Accounts, your Settings, which you've already just finished and completed, Support, Help, Education, API, About, and Log Out. Let's go back and have a look at each one individually. News. Here you can see all the news in the media, industry news, etc. It's always good to keep informed of what's going on. Next is OTC. So the IR Wealth, it's a premium service for institutional clients in Australia and New Zealand to execute high volume block trades in major cryptocurrencies. This over the counter OTC desk is managed by Independent Reserve. Next is Market. On the market page you can see recent trades, when they are placed, the price and the volume. Here we're looking at Bitcoin. Next to that you can see the order book for the buyers and sellers. You can also see trade history, so price moves. You can have a look for the day, the week. 3 months, 6 months, 12 months. You can show the candlesticks. Scroll down, you can see the market depth, and volume.
Next we have trade. Next is trade. To start trading, you need to verify your account first. Once your account is verified, go to your account section and make a deposit. Deposits. Multi-currency trading. Independent Reserve facilitates trading Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin in three currencies. Australian Dollars, United States Dollars and New Zealand Dollars. International clients may deposit USD directly via SWIFT transfer. Cryptocurrency Deposits Clients may deposit cryptocurrencies directly to the Independent Reserve account via the account screen. You'll be given a unique wallet address to send funds to. Once your cryptocurrencies have been sent, you should see the funds appear in your account after approximately 10-15 to 15 minutes, marked as unavailable funds. It takes approximately 20 minutes for the transfers to be confirmed by the network and for the funds to become available for trading. To deposit cryptocurrency into your wallet, click Deposit Wallets to generate your addresses. To deposit in Australian Dollars, US Dollars or New Zealand Dollars, click the link and follow the prompts to continue. Electronic Funds Transfer Deposits Australian customers may deposit AUD funds via electronic funds transfer. Electronic funds transfer deposits are generally processed within one to two business days. After the deposit is processed, an email will be sent notifying you that the funds are available in your account. You will be able to see the conversion rate that was used to convert your funds into USD from the Transaction History tab in the account screen. Electronic funds transfer deposits of AUD $100 and above are free. Deposits below this amount incur either a 99 cent fee Electronic fund transfer deposits are usually processed within one business day, but please allow at least two business days before contacting support. Please note that the banks do not process electronic funds transfer transactions on the weekends or public holidays. Now that you've made your first deposit and your funds are cleared, we'll go back and have a look at trade. Multi-currency trading. Independent Reserve facilitates trading cryptocurrency in three fiat currencies, AUD, USD, and NZD. Independent Reserve features a multi-currency order book, which automatically converts all open orders into your currency of choice. This means that you can take advantage of the full pool of open orders to always get the best possible price when trading cryptocurrency. As someone using AUD can transparently buy cryptocurrency from another user who trades in USD or NZD and vice versa. Now we'll have a look at the order types. Order types. Independent Reserve supports six order types. Let's look at the first one. Let's look at the market buy. A market buy is an order to buy cryptocurrency at the market price. The market price, in this case, is the weighted average of the lowest limit cells sufficient to fill the order. In the simplest case, the lowest limit cell is equal to the market price if that order has sufficient volume available to fill the market buy. If the lowest limit cell has insufficient volume, then the market buy will be partially filled by that limit cell and subsequently higher limit cells will fill the remaining volume order until the order is full. Therefore, it is common that one market buy may be filled by multiple limit cells. The price paid to fill the order will be the weighted average of all the limit cells that filled the order. A market buy is always matched against the open limit cells and executed immediately. If there are no open limit cells, the market buy will not wait to be executed, but immediately be closed as unfilled. 
It is possible that a market buy may be partially filled and then closed due to no more available limit cells. Next, we'll look at buy limit. A limit buy is an order to buy cryptocurrency at no more than the specified price per cryptocurrency unit. A limit buy is not always executed immediately, but may remain open on the order book until it is either matched against one or more sell orders, or it is cancelled. It is possible that a limit buy is partially filled then cancelled. The price paid per cryptocurrency unit for a limit buy is always less than or equal to the specified limit. The price will never be above the specified limit. So here you would enter the amount of Bitcoin you want and the amount of price you'd like to pay. So we can see here, let's say that we don't want to pay any more than 10,850. So to get 0 0.01 of Bitcoin at that price, it's going to cost us $108.50 plus brokerage and GST on brokerage. So our total price is here. We can preview our buy order and then just follow the prompts to continue. Next we'll look at sell market. The market sell is an offer to sell cryptocurrency at the market price. The market price in this case is the weighted average of the highest limit buyers sufficient to fill the order. In the simplest case, the highest limit buy is equal to the market price. If that order has sufficient volume available to fill the market sell, if the highest limit buy has insufficient volume, then the market sell will be partially filled by that limit buy, and subsequently lower limit buyers will fill the remaining volume order until the order is full. Therefore, it is common that one market sell may be filled by multiple limit buys. The price paid to fill the order will be weighted average of all the limit buys that filled the order. A market sell is always matched against open limit buys and executed immediately. If there are no open limit buys, the market sell will not wait to be executed, but immediately be closed as unfilled. It is possible that a market sell may be partially filled and then closed due to no more available limit buys. So here you just put in the volume you'd like to sell at the current market price, preview your sell order, and then follow the prompts to continue. Next we'll look at the sell limit. A limit sell is an offer to sell cryptocurrency at no less than the specified price per cryptocurrency unit. A limit sell is not always executed immediately, but also may remain open on the order book until it is either matched against one or more buy orders or it is cancelled. It is possible that a limit sell is partially filled then cancelled. The price paid for a cryptocurrency unit for a limit sell is always greater than or equal to the specified limit. The price will never be below the specified limit. So once again you just put in what you'd like to sell, the price that you'd like to sell it for, let's say 10,900. Then you preview your sell order and follow the prompts to continue. In the order book here you can see the buyers and the price that they've paid, the volume, and here you can see the sellers, the price and the volume. The order book gives you a good gauge on the market and where you can buy and sell to make the most profit. So take advantage of that guys. If you scroll down you can see your order history, all your open orders, closed orders and cancelled orders. If you've got buy orders you can cancel them all here. We can cancel your sell orders here. Next section we'll cover is support. Here you 
you can communicate directly with the support team. Please let them know of any problems, suggestions or ideas that you may have. The next section we're going to cover is help. In this section here you can find information on cryptocurrency and what it's all about, getting started, has everything you need to know about getting started, deposits, withdrawals, trading, rates, fee schedule, trade volume discount, the referral program, you can get a referral link, pass it on to your friends, and they sign up and put money in, you'll get referral commissions. Security system. Email authentication. Support. API. Privacy policy. AML policy. Terms and conditions. going through the getting started is highly recommended so you become familiar with how the platform website works. Next is education. On the education page you'll find a couple of different articles on how to spot a Bitcoin scam the book The People's Money and an introduction to Bitcoin and blockchain technology. There's not a lot on here, but it's still worth checking in on time to time to see if there's any new articles and keeping up the date. Next is the API information, then about information about Independent Reserve. Independent Reserve is also a member of the ADCA, the Australian Digital Commerce Association. And lastly you have a log off button. That concludes the Independent Reserve sign up tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website.